It's locked. That doesn't work. So that's it. These wheels control the water level. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Maggots have escaped the wrath of Ascalon for too long. It is time to purge the sewers of their filth. You again. The one they call the Sewer Dog. Hold your tongue, new boy, or I'll crush you like a maggot. You've let the beast consume you. Finally, a touch of lucidity. Learn to respect the laws of Ascalon. Ah! 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 
and wrap. Return to your apothecary and needles. <laughs> down. <laughs> Stay down. <laughs> I shall crush you. Your blood is now mine. I shall be a fair skull to adorn my mantle! At least one skull escaped Fergal's wrath. The poor creature is bleeding to death. He cannot be far. How could he have made it this far? There's blood everywhere. We are still. Drink now. Bless you, Richard. This isn't the blood of a vampire, but it will quench your thirst. This Wait, I thank you. Now go. Sean Hampton. If you must know, I'm Jonathan Reed. I shall not bend a knee. So is it. Perhaps. Thank you. 
The guard of the scars have always been hunted by Sean killed. If you refer to Harriet, she is now among them. Harriet. No. I don't understand. She is filled with Thank you. Hello, ha mm, yeah. I have so many questions. I love. I have a questions. Do you remember what you did after Lee? First, a question from me. Very well then. Are you like me? We are. I like. I know you fled the hospital. I will not lie. I wanted blood. Shadows. The shadows. And these shadows, this present. It spoke only. What makes you say? It Whispered your name, Dr. Reed. Questions about me? Nothing, Doctor. I said... <laughs> Have you... F there is... Get to know... What manner? I really don't know. I'm not even certain she is a skull. What is a skull? The progeny of a... You mentioned the vampire. Oh, the vampire's sweet blood. That... I thank you for your time, madam. Your kind... Thank you. Are you all? I could ask you to. I'm Doctor. I'm Reed. I beg you. I said. It's locked, all right.
It's locked, all right. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Would you like to take communion with me now? Sean, are you eating raw flesh? It is the sacred flesh of the mortal lamb. Our Lord's bountiful transmutation for the sustenance of his believers. Thank you, Lord. I am your most humble servant. So, true to your word, you waited for my return. I told you, Dr. Reed, I was a man to be trusted. Did you have words with the poor Harriet? This shelter is the tip of the iceberg. You hide your game well, I'll give you that. We are God's children, Dr. Reed. Harriet, Miss Jones has been... That's precisely the reason I brought her here. Harriet is possessed by... She has joined her own client, Doctor. How old Bridget... I believe I've learned all I need to know. I'm certain you've killed no one, but one day I believe you'll cross the line. <laughs> Logic is a false prophet. Faith is the only path to salvation. What do you mean? We have been blessed with God's eternity. We are the instruments of his divine will. We shall feed the hungry forever and ever. Amen. I haven't the luxury of being able to satisfy my hunger on staunch blood and lifeless flesh. Give yourself over to God, Doctor. Expel your urges and kneel before the Lord in praise. These urges... You know the hunger will never be satisfied. I've come to embrace the everlasting craving. I have sworn to feed only upon the flesh of the dead. It is now my sacrament. Take. Eat. This is my body. So saith the Lord. I really would like to believe your fairy tale. The good ghoul feeding upon the flesh of the dead. But I'm all out of innocence. Do you question my fate, Dr. Reed? Do you remember William? Oh, how his admiration for you was exceeded only by his hunger. May your soul rest in peace. A night will come, and you will 
will suffer the same hunger. Someone who trusts you completely. A friend will die never to wake. You confuse your voracious appetite with my itchy hunger. I would never kill a friend, nor an innocent. I believe you've discovered our defining difference. No! no. Ah! I'll give... Another corpse thrown in the streets. Someone's playing a very sick game. Good evening. And what do you do? My name? A vamp? Hi, Mr. A man? Did you see what? Uh. Who? Why? You didn't. I know this brooch. This is my mother's. A birthday gift from father. Twenty nine Pretty Orchard Street.
Sorry, sir. No admittance. It's one of them! <laughs> Twenty-nine Pretty Orchard Street. This is it. What's in there for me? There's been a fight here.
This window was shattered with violent force. Someone's been pulled through it and dragged through the street. Who could have done that? Fire a bit. This woman's neck were made by the fangs of a vampire. This is the very flower my mother tossed on Mary's coffin. No choice in the matter. I might as well win it. have you done? Vicar Larrabee? What happened? Demon! Hell Scourge! Son of Perdition! Vicar! Vicar! Jonathan is no demon. He's just a loving son, returned from the dead. 
Like your Christ, Vicar. Mary, it has been you all along. Oh, it's me, all right, precious brother. Why did you lure me here? I'm gathering the family for a final reunion, all smiling, all dead. Thanks to the good Dr. Reed. Mary. Mother, say hello to your son. Hello, Jonathan. Mother, I... What do we have here, Mother? The prodigal son has lost his tongue. Our Jonathan always had the first and last word at dinner. The entertainer, the star of our show. Mary, let me explain. Shut up. It's my turn to do the talking. I have this nasty hole in my chest, Johnny. It needs to breathe. Right then. Speak. My prayers went so long without an answer. My husband killed in France. My child carried away by the flu. My brother promising to return in his letters, then disappearing in thin air. I went from hospital to hospital, cemetery to cemetery, grave to grave. I've lifted every stone in London, searching for an end to the nightmare. And there you were, in front of me, on a dark pier. It was the hunger. You know it now as well. The joy to have finally found you. I longed for your arms, a final happy ending to so much tragedy, to tell me all would be well again. As you did when we were children. It was this filthy dock where you greeted your sister. I dug a tunnel from my grave with my fingers and teeth. Mary. I had taken your life before I realized it was you. I tried to kill myself. Mm. But you failed in your attempt. We cannot die, can we? We are a plague. I've watched you, Jonathan. You pull the strings and sever them. I've done what I had to do. I did not choose this fate. But I will have my answers. <sighs> There are no answers, Doctor. There's nothing left but pain and lies and treachery. Mary, wait! Time to go, Mother. Give my regards to my son. No! 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 Can you imagine what I have in mind for you? I'll destroy you! Finally, we hear the truth! Dr. Reed, admit it. You're a monster who takes joy in killing, who relishes the chase, the secrecy of it all. I'm still a scientist. I shall find a cure for this madness. You lie to yourself. Confess your sins. Over the slaughtered corpse of our mother! Are those tears, brother dear?
I'll do to you what you did to Dorothy Crane. Come to me, Jonathan. You killed me! Same kindness you showed Sean Hampton. Rest in peace, monster. to bring this conversation to an end forever. You know I will not play this game. Calm now, Doctor. Like a rabid dog. Or think you're performing an autopsy. Don't be ridiculous. I'll kill them all. The kind Dr. Swansea. The sweet little lass with hair of red. I am the Harbinger, bringing your punishment. Mary... Don't you see? This is not me. Flesh that never ages. All nightmare, no dream. Bring it to a close. Let me sleep. At last, I can forgive you.
shed one last red tear for my fallen sister. I realize the entire world now revolves around this singular word. The epidemic that has stricken London is not the Spanish flu. It is transmitted through the blood via violent biting, turning survivors into frenzied immortals. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am a vampire, born anew into an age of death and pestilence. While plotting factions close in around me, I am sworn to find the source of this epidemic. I am convinced greater perils are still to come. I know the answers I seek are hiding in our blood. The flower's dying. It needs water. <laughs> 